once again we're going to talk about John Dewey who was born on October 28, 1859. He was known as an American psychologist, philosopher, pragmatist, progressivist, and educator. Dewey's various roles greatly impacted education and perhaps he's one of the most influential educational philosophers known today. First, education during his time was teacher-centered, wherein the absolute control is with the teacher. Students learn from text and teacher lecture. Therefore, the students are only expected to repeat the information through orally or written form. In a short period of time, allow me to explain to you his contributions to education through his beliefs in curriculum, teaching methods, theories, teachers' roles, and schools' roles. First, we have curriculum. Curriculum for him should be based on students' interests and should involve them in active experiences. He wanted to reinstate into experience the subject matter of curriculum. According to him, curriculum should be relevant to the students' lives. He saw learning by doing and development of practical life skills as crucial to the children's education. His education philosophy helped him forward for the progressive education movement. Then we have the teaching method. According to him, Teaching methods should focus on hands-on problem-solving, experimenting, projects, and oftentimes having students work in a group, which obviously and evidently what we do in the present. He said that the direct experience is the basis of all methods. Knowledge takes place from concrete and meaningful situations. Therefore, knowledge should come from the spontaneous activities of the children. Though his method of teaching are based on what I have said a while ago, which is learning by doing, which he believes has connection with the life of the child. Then we have his theory of experiential education. He focuses his concept of instrumentalism in education on learning by doing or the hands-on learning, which means to learn not only by theory but also by practice. Instrumentalism is a theory of knowledge created by Dewey in which ideas are seen to exist primarily as instruments for the solution of problems encountered in the environment. Experiential education meaning, Dewey believed that people learn best through experience. Next, we have the teacher's role. According to Dewey, the more that the teacher know about the past experiences, the desires, the hopes, the chief interests of the students, the better that learning will be. For him, the teacher should guide the students and serve as their facilitator. He believes the teachers becomes the partner in the learning process who leads the students to independently discover the meaning within the subject area. The teacher is engaged not only in the training of the children, but also in the formation of the proper social life. Then last, we have the school's role. So do we believe that the school should be the representative of the social environment? Dewey is emphasizing the importance of education in school. It is not just a place to gain knowledge, but it is also a place to learn how we live. Up to this day, his words and wisdom inspire us to do more, to be more, and learn more. And so as I end this video, I want you to remember that education is not a preparation for life, for education is life itself. Thank you very much for listening.